Okay, what I want to show you guys now is the condition of our electrolytic bath after about an hour and a half of running uh, during the making of this video. I've had this unit pretty much bubbling on and off here for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's not fully broken in yet, obviously. It takes a few weeks for that. But I wanted you to see the condition of our distilled water and sodium hydroxide. It's still pretty much got that orange tint, but remember, we had that hue before we even started, way back at the beginning of the video. So basically, nothing's changed. Um, you don't have any brown sludge buildup in there, or no floaties or anything like that. So let's take this uh, brand new unit out of here. And you can see, if you look at it, you can see a little bit of a bronze hue to the stainless steel. That's normal. Uh, that's what happens to stainless steel when you start putting current through it. So if you, you observe that bronze tinting to your cell, it's a good sign. It's a healthy sign. It's the beginning of uh, making that catalytic layer on the plates. So let's have a look inside the uh, test container that I use. Uh, like I said, I've been using it for months and months. There is some, uh, you know, over time there's been some build up from, you know, finger oils and whatnot. But uh, you'll notice there's no floaties on the top of there at all. Um, no sludge buildup, you know, just normal wear and tear use over time. Having all those brand new cells in there, you get a little bit of color, but that's about it. And the other thing I wanted to show you is there's been a lot of questions about the operating temperature of the cell. So I have here about, let it stabilize, about 52 degrees centigrade, which Weights to approximately got about 127 degrees Fahrenheit so that's pretty much right around your normal operating temp well below boiling um, there's been a lot of complaints about real hot cells this it would be your normal operating temperature if you're running around 130 degrees even you know what over a few hours you get up to 140 degrees but this should be your operating temperature um, like I said, this has been running for about an hour and a half or so, so you guys, have, I haven't changed anything. This is the same exact electrolytic bath that uh, we started the video on quite some time ago. And uh, there you have it, 126. So, normal operating temperature. You're anything higher than that, again, you need to check over the design. Uh, make sure you met the specs. Um, make sure you're using the right water, the right uh, catalyst. The plates are properly spaced you're using the proper materials you don't deviate from the design at all the design is the way it is because that is what works for the given parameters that I set for myself so if you want your replication to perform like a smack unit should you need to build the smack unit like the smack says